All right, strict time limit on this stream. I just noticed that it's 20 minutes until I have to do a live stream. Um, I really got into this one. I This is fantastic. This has been in... Um, send, by the way, a, a lot of people send in games that like I think they like, but like um, they don't know what I would like. Stuff like this. Send me stuff like this and let me know that it's, you know, like like this. And ideally short or like let me know how long it is. Um, yeah, n number one thing that people like make mistakes when s suggesting games is they just like drop a name and there's no like I think you would like this because blah blah blah. Uh, you got to tell me why I would like it because otherwise like I kind of assume it's just like you know like when people suggest Minecraft, which I have Minecraft videos by the way. If you want to see me play Minecraft, you can just do that. Anyway, on to the dreams. This creature reappear uh, reappears resting in a pool of black liquid. It's bendy spikes. Slightly more erect. It's this thing. Fieldofdreams.html. So we've got some sort of weird fox beast. <laughs> we've got those uh, ostrich things from. Uh, there must be. A, that's another either Capcom or SNK uh, character there. Don't recognize them once again, unfortunately. The the high the highly detailed sprite. I really miss. Well, I mean, this this some um, modern. Oh, there's <laughs> there's that thing from um, that very explicit boss from um, I'm blanking on it. Not Gradius, R type, I think. Yeah, it's basically it's it is it's exactly what it looks like. Um. <laughs> uh, we got some guns. You gotta have some guns and some skulls. This looks like, whoa, what is that rabbit thing doing? And why is it like missing pieces of itself? It looks like it's holding like a megasphere from Doom. And there's a gray palette swap too. There's like a puke slug. That's always nice. Go away, Mr. Mouse. We don't need you right now. I think that's all to see here. In these areas, you just kind of explore. Oh, so it doesn't change the mouse cursor, which is... So he just plays a random noise every time. Whoa. It must have been really fun to go through and find, like, all of these things to make... To, to put into the game. Like, they must have just been searching for, like, you know... A bunch of video games with, like, destructible objects that they could, you know, put into here. It's not much here. Your eyes grow heavy. Alright. So that's that thing. So there's another thing over here. Oh, another one of these, huh? Barrel. Alright. You can't really click things when you're in this mode. This is like a browser-based version of LSD, like I said before. The LSD Dream Emulator. I really like that game. So obviously, big fan of this thing, too. Music's really quiet. I might have to amp it up a little bit. And I think that's, uh... <laughs> Looks almost like the modern, like, Harley Quinn thing from that, um... That dumb movie with the j tattoo joker. But I'm, obviously it's not. Might be some kind of Castlevania thing. I haven't... Other than Symphony of the Night, I don't think I've finished a single Castlevania. I know, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Classic Vanias don't really do a great deal for me, unfortunately. Um, there's kind of that standard, hard 90s platformer. Doesn't really do a lot for me. I think those are... <laughs> Little diamond. Yeah, this, has, this is Sierra stuff, definitely. Parker, would you not do that? I don't even know what that is. Nice little bloody meat hook. Well, I think we've sufficiently destroyed everything. You can't destroy the balloons. The one thing that should be the easiest to destroy, you can, in fact, not destroy. Ran for miles to find the most secluded spot. Tripping over sheets and pine cones. There's something freeing about it. I love this fadey effect in the background, by the way. Oh. Bliss 
glistening pink bubbles float quietly through the fog. It's unclear if they're coming closer or moving farther away. I love how it's just literally me over here in the corner, just like, hey guys, welcome to the video. Alright, so where's the secret object? Does this qualify as a hidden object game? You awake in a room awash in pink light. Roses you recognize and strange plants you do not surround you. Pull a note out of your pocket that you wrote to yourself as a child. The note begins to float up slightly and disintegrate. I hate when that happens. Uh oh, we've got some boobums. Um, we've got some biohazard. The boobums are a biohazard. It's called Lilith.html, uh, and there's a Lilith right there. There's a beat up jet plane in the background. And there's some sort of R type thinger. And there's what I can only assume are like cancer cells. What is that bat or what is that bun that bunny outfit? Was that in the game? Or is that like a Mugen sprite or something? Oh, that's like a I thought that was like a bug, this thing right here under the eye. I thought it was like a bug, but it's like some kind of like satellite laser deal. <laughs> Got some explosions. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Another break all of the things room. Oh, there's the, uh, there's that, uh, eye visor thing from Doom. Hmm. Oh, that's about enough for that one. Vast slash Jennifer. <gasps> whoa. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Look at that. I don't like that cloud. Look at that. Oh, I don't like this cloud either. It's like evil Krakow. Not that regular Krakow is like... Friend face. Let's go... Obvious exits are north, south, west, and Dennis. Where to go, Dennis? Liquor. I, I need some liquor. Give me some liquor. Oh, I hope this isn't too big. I need to do stream things in a bit. Uh oh, is this that cliff that you can like super easily fall off? And it's like really infuriating. There's some nice hummingbirds though. The music's kind of layered, because let me mute. Can I mute this tab? Okay. That'll work. It almost makes sense that it layers, but I think it'll be better this way. I recognize that like I recognize this thing. Is it like an X parasite? And that's the that, that's like the death effect from uh, the Genesis. Um... I'm sorry to keep pointing out all of this crap. I should probably just let you like figure it out for yourself or enjoy it. No, I doubt it's adding too much to the experience. Whoa. Hey there, CGA. How you doing? CGA is such a fascinating like color palette. Like, why did they pick those colors? Like, that is what an absurd set of colors to pick. Hmm. I was kind of afraid this area would be too big, and it kind of seemed like it might be. This is so big. Um. Wait, what's this say? Navigate the strange place as best you can. Relax and enjoy the view. You'll know the way out when you see it. Or close the browser page when you've had enough. You'll know the way out when you see it. Okay. I'll just keep going north. Seems like a good way to go. Never mind. I'll know the way out when I see it. I think we'll have to end this video as soon as I find my way out of here. If there's in fact a way out. Well, it says to go right, so... Oh wait, we, can we can't. Let's go north then. Navigate this place as best you can. I wonder if there was a. I wonder if that map. We saw like a maze earlier. Wait, wait, west? 
Wait, no, that's not. That was. Well, it says north. Well, it's, it says both ways, actually. There was an arrow up, anyway. West. North. Ah! We've gone to looping land. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of looping land. I do love the vistas, though. Man, there's some really interesting looks in old PC hardware stuff. Look at all that. Look at that dithering. That's some good stuff. I I never used to like dithering. Whoa. And that's what. That's the dithering you had to do on uh, CGA. So it's such an interesting color palette. I guess there's like, actually, there's not. There's not a lot of contrast between the colors. It's such a weird thing to, to pick: purple, blue, white, and black. What a what a country! Oh dear, I don't know if I'm gonna find my way out of here in time. I have nine minutes. Whoa. That seems important. Oh, <laughs> nope. Whoa, my face. I don't. I don't really have a face. I have like a void. I don't like it when she's running towards you. It's like, ugh. This really. This really. Like, rest in peace, Pax. Let's go to Pax East. See if it's still alive. Oh, it's. It's dead. This reminds me. I think there's there's a couple of. Adventure games, like computer adventure games, I vaguely remember as a kid, and I never, I never, I don't remember the names of them. Like they were, we either lost the discs, or uh, there was one that I played at a friend's house that looks a lot like that last that screen that we were just at. Uh, I don't know what they were called though. They were probably Sierra games though. So if I if I looked it up, I could probably find something about them. There's a, there's a lot of different things around that. Whoa. Get the staff. I can't get the staff. Wait, what? What? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to tap out this place. This place is huge, and there's no logical connections between anything, so... I'll know the exit when I see it. But, but, but will I? I think I'm gonna have to tap out here and um no north uh, I keep finding new places yeah, some of these look very familiar I think I think some of these screens are from that game that I played at a friend's house I only played it like once and it was interesting but I never got very far that's what this is. I remember some like screens and stuff. But I barely remember it. Like I don't remember enough to like talk about it even. It's... But yeah, I remember it so strongly. Like, I'm, I'm so sure it happened. I remember like just grassy like tree things, but like nothing that I could describe to you, and you would be like, "Yeah, I know. I know what that was." If anyone knows what this is from, this looks a lot like it. I don't know if it's exactly it, but it's probably by the same developer. So like I said, it's probably Sierra. They made a lot of that kind of stuff. Whoa, what is this? CGA cave. Where all the CGAs are born. There's so much stuff here. <laughs> Atmospheric soundtrack provided by Parker. Clawing the crap out of his flying thing. It's going to town. Now, hopefully there's a guide for this thing or something. Because I'm gonna go until I see a screen that I've seen before. Just in case. Just in case. It feels like there can't be too much left, but at the same time, there's already been so much that it's like there must be more left. 
Wait, is this the character from, um... Clock Tower? I didn't play that game, but it strikes a bell. screens. I guess they're not like they're they're borrowed from other games, so I guess you can make almost infinite screens doing that, but uh, I'm gonna have to tap out. If anybody knows like a quick fire way to to get through this, I guess let me know. It's slash vast slash jennifer dot html. So I can go back and find this if I need to at some point I guess. And otherwise I'll just remember that I am at Persephone with the boobums. Get those boobums off there. There you go. Um, so Persephone is where we're gonna continue next time. I'll I'll make a bookmark out of that. And uh, yeah, that this is um, what is this black room? Well, if I have a thing. Wait, what? Yeah, Black Room. Sorry about that. This is Black Room, and um, this is... Oh, wait, let me unmute that real quick. Um, this is really interesting. Oh, the boobums. I forgot. Let's get those out of there. <laughs> All right. Uh, next time, we'll do some more crazy stuff.